Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is going to be a little bit of a departure. Uh, I want to talk to you about redemption. No, Jason, wait a minute. No, that's neither moto, photo, nor adventure. I know. But it's something that happened to me, and I've over the past few months, and I would like for you to hear a little story. A couple of them, as a matter of fact. Now, don't get in a bind. It is tangentially, is that a right word? Tangentially uh, attached to motorcycles. And I'll come back around to it, but uh, two short stories. But first, I've written this down because, you know, memory. Redemption. The act of saving or being saved from sin, error, or evil. The act of regaining or gain. Uh, the act of saving or being saved from sin, error, or evil. That's the first definition. Second definition. Gaining possession of something in exchange for payment or doing a debt. So, redemption. Let me tell you a couple of stories here. Um, and, and, and yes, there's, there's no fast musical montages. There's no interviews with mom and pop waitresses. There's no how to videos, putting something. This is just me sitting in the car and talking. So if that's not your bag, a few months ago, uh, I went to get, I called up my eyeglass places, you know, to get some new prescription glasses, ones that transition for the motorcycle. I did a video about that a while back about having the challenge of near sight, near sighted, far sighted, you know, sunglasses, putting them on, no face shield in the helmet. Anyway, watch that one. But I called up my eyeglasses place and I said, listen, here's what I'm after. I need some transition lenses. I need, um, they need to be progressive because I got the near and far thing going on. And uh, I, they said, cool. And they, you know, typed it up and they gave me a quote. And I was like, hey, that's a great deal. I don't remember what it was, but it was, you know, it was within budget and it was less than I thought. And I was like, peachy. So I said, I'll be there in like 10 minutes because my prescription was still good and, and I didn't have to get a new, you know, it, all of that. Anyhow, um, this has gone a little strange. There we go. Let's do this. Hang on a second. I'm going to focus this and there we go. So I jumped in my car. I said, I'll be there in 10, like 10 minutes. So I jumped in the car and I went down the road and I got there and I said, hey, I just called you and here's the thing that I need and here's the quote you gave me and I would like my to get some glasses made. And here, I even have the frames. You can just put the new lenses in there. So they typed it up on the computer and went, oh, no, no. What we quoted you is incorrect. It's double that. So it was like 400 bucks, I think, rather than the two or less than 200 bucks. And I was like, well, hang on a second. I just called you 10 minutes ago. You gave me a quote. I'll come up here. I spent my time. I'm about to spend my money. And you're saying now I can't get the thing that you quoted me on for the price you quoted me on. Right, sir. It's, you know, it goes, it's not in our, we can't do it that way. It's this, that, and the other warranty, whatever, whatever. I went, all right. So let me make sure I understand. And I'm getting hot. You know, I, I'm a bit of a sparky kind of guy when I, I'm a small business owner. And so I really take care in responding quickly, doing what I say, arriving on time, producing the pro I get it. And so I don't have the corporate umbrella over me with all of the parameters. And so I know they're in the computer and they say, we can't do this. And I get it, but I'm talking to the manager now, you know, I've, I've, up, up, I've upgraded, I've gone above. I'm the manager's now here talking to me and how we can't do what it is that, so I said, let me understand. Let me get this straight. The quote that you gave me on the phone, you're not going to live up to. Is that basically how this is going to boil down? And she said, yeah, that's, we can't do it. I said, okay, give me my frames, give me my glasses. I'm out. And I stood up to walk away. And she says, well, I hope you have a good day. And I said, listen, good day was when I went but prior to this event. Now it's not a good day because you've just ticked off a customer and lost one for life because you didn't live up to what you said. I understand that it's not a thing you can do, quote unquote, but you're the manager. You got, you got, you got, you can do this. If you really wanted to, you could do this. So I, I'm, I'm on the way home. I get home. I'm writing stuff. I'm about to Facebook the mess out of this better business bureau anthology. And in the middle of it, I get a phone call. I mean, I'm spending 10 minutes on this thing. I'm about to go off because as a small business owner, I'm just saying, 
this kind of stuff irritates me. And so I'm in the middle of this post. I'm just, bla I'm going to blast them. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's bad. Judge me for what you will. And in the middle of the middle of it, a phone call. I normally don't answer my phone. It goes straight to text. But I answer it and it's the manager of the eyeglass place. And she's reversing course. She says, here's what we can do. We can fix this. We can fix this. So I say, okay, give it a whirl. And she does. And I get back in the car and in 10 minutes I'm down there and they have my glasses, my frames. And two hours later, I have my glasses. Redemption. She gained more cool points by apologizing and making it right than I would have given her if it had just gone the way it had originally, where they would just honored the, the original prize. That would have been cool. I'd have been happy. I'd have had glasses. I'd have had good prize. I'd, I'd have gone back when it was time to get new glasses. But now, she gained like positive five cool points because that's hard to do. That's hard to call up somebody. And you know, her motivation might be she didn't want to get blasted, but she didn't know I was doing it. So I backspaced back. When I got back home with my glass, I backspaced, backspaced. I deleted it and I didn't post it. Redemption. Hmm. Story number two. Just this past week, I have a Norden 901 bought from Redline Power Sports. I will say right off the top that my experience with this dealership has been rocky. I hold no animosity toward the employees that work there. I have been treated well. But this past week was the second time that I had to take my motorcycle from Charleston to Myrtle Beach and pay for an overnight hotel stay because they could not get the cruise control fixed on my motorcycle. Norton 901, I know. But what they had to do was they had to hook it to the computer and they had to talk all the way to Sweden and that what took overnight and whatever. I was also getting a seal replaced and you know, it, but it was the second time I've had to do this in a couple of months because it wasn't done properly the first time. And it's covered under warranty I signed when I bought the bike under warranty. So this week I go back and um, actually Chris Smith and I went up there together. He was doing a photo shoot and I was getting this done. So, you know, we carpooled and um, we actually shot a go-kart video. It was pretty fun and kind of funny if you like that kind of thing. But I called them, I dropped it off and we did our thing and I spent the night and then we got up the next morning and around 10 a.m. because, you know, I'm about to check out of the hotel. I call them up and I say, hey, is this my bike done? Is Did you get the cruise fix? Because I, you know, I love it. I would love to have my cruise. I've never had a bike with cruise control before. It was awesome. It was awesome, by the way. They said, yeah, it's fixed. It's wonderful. We got the seal done and we got the cruise control fixed. Everything is golden. I said, hey, that's fantastic. And it's before I thought you would because it's only 10 a.m. I thought I was going to be here all the way into the afternoon. And they said, oh, yeah, it's great. We got you taken care of. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Um, we need you to put down a deposit because the warranty is with Husqvarna, the manufacturer, and you know how warranty people are and insurance people are. They always try to not pay. And so we need a deposit from you in case they deny any of our services. I went, well, that's kind of wacky. Um, warranty is warranty. Nobody ever said I had to put a deposit, and it's not my problem if they don't pay you back for the thing that you sold me, which was broken in the first place and never worked since day one. They said, well, it's just the way it is. I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in Myrtle Beach. I got to get home. You got my bike. What is the deposit amount? I ask. I queried politely. $739.98, give or take if my memory's proper. WT actual F, I cried literally into the phone. That's not happening. 
$750 you want me to pay as a deposit just in case the warranty that I have purchased and signed for on a motorcycle that you sold me might or might not be covered by the manufacturer that you are selling bikes for. No, that's not happening. I'll see you in a little while. We'll talk it over when you get here, sir. You bet we will. In my mind, I am fuming. I am rolling. Chris, I am. Chris gets back from his photo shoot that morning, and I just lay into him with all kinds of fervor with my experiences that morning. A few choice words per chosen purposefully on the phone pretty much gave him an idea of where this was going to go. On the way over, I'm planning. What is my play here? They can't hold my bike hostage for $750 and I'll be dadgum if I'm paying it to get my bike out of there on something that's covered in warranty. But I repeat myself. So I'm thinking, do I say we have 50,000 views on YouTube every year? You don't want to do this? Do I say my cousin is a, a, a lawyer, corporate lawyer? Do I say, um, heck no, and just, you know, flop on the floor like a three-year-old that didn't get his candy? I don't know. Well, Chris being the person that he is, he talked to me down. He said, it's going to be fine. You don't, I'm sure we're going to work it out. But I go in there. I've shrunk into about 5'11 from my six foot max height when I was younger, but I stood up taller and put on my big boy boots and I'm, I'm striding in with a purpose. I go straight to the service department. I walk straight up to the counter and I say to the man who is smiling at me, who I've dealt with before on the first trip. And I say, hey, I'm Jason, I'm here to pick up my bike. I had determined on the trip over with a bit of psychiatric counseling from Chris that I'm not going in hot. I'm gonna give him a shot. There's no reason to try this. There's no reason to be hostile right off the bat. Let's just, I might've had a guy who was on the phone with me who was just reading something off a computer and had no idea what was going on and that was just the default. All right, I'm, here. I'm Jason. I'm here to pick up my bike. He types my name in. Oh, Jason, I remember you. You were here before. You were from, you're from Charleston, aren't you? I said, yes, yes, this is the second time I've here, um, both times overnight. You're right. That is true. Okay. We got, it looks like we got your seal done and it, the cruise control is cool is fine. We weren't, I see we weren't able to get, yes, yes, yes. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. And he turns and he walks away and he goes over across the way to another guy who has the most admirable handlebar mustache. I'm just saying. And I had talked to him too. He's pretty cool. But as he's over there, Chris kind of peeks his head around the corner and he looks at the computer and he goes, yeah, deposit 738. 97, whatever. And I'm going, mm hmm. Here we go. I'm ready. The guy walks back, and I wish I could remember his name. The guy walks back over to the computer. He says, No, cool. Yep, we got you all covered. Everything's fine. Let me print this out, have you sign it, and you'll be on your way. And he walks away again. And I went, That was easy. Redemption. The act of saving or being saved from sin, error, or evil. All right, we can cross off the sin and evil. I don't think any of those apply to either one of those stories, but error? Okay. I'm preaching to myself. Have a great day. See you on the next random weird video that's not about motorcycles.